So here's what most people do when they open a coffee shop. They dive right into searching for shops for rent or businesses for sale. They start brainstorming witty names and cool logos. And before too long, they've made some critical decisions that can have a big impact on the direction of their business and their life for years to come. For example, I was talking to a couple last week who were asking for input on a coffee shop they're about to open. They'd already locked in a location and started to fit out. Now, of course, we spoke about the equipment, the coffee and the menu, but the truth is most of the really big decisions, the ones that had the biggest impact on success or failure have already been made. So instead of doing that, today we're gonna to take a step back and we're gonna look at how to set things up the right way. Starting with the big question that most people never even ask. Why are you doing this? I found people aren't completely honest with themselves and their partners on why they're starting a business in the first place. Often they're running away from something else. Maybe it's a job they're sick of or they're just looking for a different lifestyle. But we really need to do better than I'm sick of my job. To get things started on the right foot, you really want to get specific on both your financial and your personal goals. Yes, I know it sounds a bit pedantic, but it will make a huge difference when we get into the planning stage. So here's what I suggest. Rather than thinking of where you're at right now, try to think a few years ahead and ask yourself about three specific areas. Money. What do you need to be earning? If you're replacing an income from an other work, then what's the minimum you need to make this worthwhile? While you're at it, what sort of return are you looking for on your investment? Lifestyle. What sort of hours or days do you see yourself working? Some people become their own boss to have more flexibility. Well, what exactly does that look like? Once the business gets up into a rhythm, how many days do you see yourself working? And time frame. How long are you planning to own the business? Do you see yourself running this long term or do you want to build it up and then sell it? I'll give you a hint here. It's good to agree on an exit strategy up front even if you're planning to own the business long term. Now, depending on the lease, most coffee shops are gonna hit maximum resale value after about three to five years. You know, assuming you're making a profit. So whatever you decide on this point, it's really important to talk it through with family and business partners if you have any. I've seen a lot of business partnerships, marriages and other relationships break down because they're simply not on the same page with what they're hoping to achieve. So sort it out right up front and then you're ready to get stuck into the concept plan. Now, planning can take a few forms. Of course, there's the traditional business plan, which is usually a big wad of paper with financial projections and business jargon. Now, there's nothing wrong with a detailed plan. We'll get into these details later. But for now, let's start with a simple one-page concept plan. This is like your elevator pitch. It's about getting your ideas down quickly before we start research. So you want to include a description of the menu and the service model, the type of location you're looking for, a description of the customers you're targeting, and where you're planning to get the money from. Now it helps to have a rough concept so that we can see how our ideas stack up to reality. And we find that out by doing some research. Now research is about gathering the relevant information and then using that to identify the strengths and the weaknesses in our plan. Again, it helps to ask some questions. What sort of locations are actually available to rent or businesses are for sale? Do they match the concept we've got in mind? And what do they cost? It can help to talk to some brokers and real estate agents. Sure, don't accept everything they say, but having these chats give you some useful information about what's possible. Now, what about the competition? In the area you're looking at, who are the key competitors? Go buy a coffee and find out what sort of customers are they targeting? What's unique about their menu? Now you can think about your target customers. Now that you've seen what competitors are doing, how does this compare with the customers you're planning to target? This is where you might find some opportunities that others are missing. It can also be useful to look at some data. If census data is available, that can be a useful way to research things like age groups and income in the local area. There are also some helpful property research tools that will overlay this information on a map. You can start to get a better picture of the mix of people who live and work in a particular area. Now, I took it a step further when I was researching a location for my own business. I went to the area I was considering and I literally sat at a bus stop from 6 a.m. to observe the foot traffic. I had a notepad and I made categories for the people who walked by, the age groups, and most importantly, what they were doing. Like, were they on their way to work, parents doing the school run, old folks visiting the post office, you get the drift. Now, the reason I did this was because the type of coffee shop I was planning needed steady foot traffic to work. It also helped me to learn what sort of mix of people were already out and about and what they're doing, which gives me information on what occasions in the day that I should target. Now that you've gathered some information, it's time to take another look at the concept. 
you might need to tweak the plan or you might find a bigger opportunity than the one you're originally thinking. Either way, go back and update the concept plan. This becomes the starting point for your business plan and sets you up with a clear idea of what you're aiming for before you start negotiating on a site. And when you're ready to do that, then you definitely want to check out this video right here, where I take you through what it costs to set up a brand new cafe.